Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are getting a late start on the video, but an earlier start than the previous video. It's 1.30 and we've got kids still doing homework. So this is kind of the name of the game. We get a late start, they have a late breakfast, we start to do homework, do chores, that kind of thing. Everyone kind of takes a break and then they've kind of gone back to doing their homework. Ashley's almost done, I think, with one of her programs. She's done all the required activities for the classroom and then she's doing the online learning. Oh, yeah. that's your timer. <laughs> okay, but now you need to do Zern. And then you're done. We'll do your writing assignment later on today. Deal? Oh, okay. All right, get logged in there. I'll set, I think it actually, does this one do a timer for you? No, it doesn't. Okay. So you do that one for, I think it's 20 minutes, and then you can be done. So find Zern. Okay. And then you're done, you just have, we just have a writing prompt to work on right here. Something you think you should buy or do. It's an opinion writing, right? Okay, have fun. And Chelsea went upstairs to work on hers for a little bit. Look at my father-in-law brought me yesterday. Yesterday, is that when he brought these over? Isn't that pretty? It's a big bouquet. <laughs> anyway, super pretty and thoughtful. He just says he wishes he could help more and so if I, he can help by brightening our day, then he'll do that. So my next task today is going to provide a late dinner. <laughs> One of the other nice things that he did for us a couple, like a week ago I think, was he got me a pork roast. So, I'm actually just gonna open it straight up and then we're gonna cook it in the crock pot and we're gonna do some pulled pork. So even if it's not quite done for dinner time tonight, we'll have a lot of pulled pork and I'll be able to put some in the freezer and we'll be able to put them on sandwiches really easy for the future. And I might donate some, it'll depend, it'll depend on how much this makes. But I just have had a defrosting in the microwave. I pulled it in, into the fridge last night but it just wasn't quite thawed out and I need to get it into the crock pot. Here's something that might be embarrassing for myself. I've never cooked a pork roast. I've done like beef roasts, you know, a ton, but I've never done this pulled pork before. It's super good, but I've just never done it. We're gonna open this up and put it into the crock pot. All right, I've got my seasonings right here. And now I've got my meat. So I'm gonna do some of the seasoning before I put it in, because I wanna get the bottom side kind of salted. And from what I know from roasts, you can season a lot with salt and give it that extra tenderness and flavor. So I'm going to add the rest of these seasonings. I've got garlic salt. I mean, I guess it's garlic powder. And then I've got onion powder. I actually might throw in some garlic in the bottom. We'll see. And then pepper. A ton of pepper. And then I'm going to put it in here and flip it over and then we'll repeat that on the top side. Whew, pepper is giving me the sneezes, I guess. All right, so everything I've seen online, all the different recipes and ways to cook this, Coke or root beer or beer, some other kind of soda as your liquid in the pot. So I guess that's what we're going to do. I don't know. And then when it's done cooking, it should be nice and moist. My least favorite word, aside from lover. Just as a tidbit. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cook that for like eight hours. We're gonna cook it on high for an hour and then on low for eight hours. I might have to bump it up so that we're not eating at 10 o'clock tonight. All right, so I am finding it hard to find motivation to do anything. Oh, the not so It is now, what time is it? 3.50. Five o'clock. No. Chelsea just took a hour, hour and a half nap. You don't need that. That. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Chelsea, <laughs> I can't take this girl seriously. Did the nap feel good? Maybe tonight we actually go to sleep. Yeah, I tried. I, tried. I know we try, but can you try harder? No. So she stays up. She doesn't stay up. She just cannot fall asleep until like midnight. 
so she took a nap today. Um, Abby is done with homework, and Chelsea and Ashley and I, Dad, are gonna play a game of Rumi Cube again. Are our points over a thousand yet? No, Dad, no. not yours. <laughs> You're about to be. I'm about to be. Yeah. Um, Abby just hit just under 700, right? Uh, no, so she's sad. in 700. Oh, she got to 700? Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do a check here on our pork roast. I should pull it away from the cupboard here. So I've got it in here. Let's see. It smells really good. So I, we are worried that it's gonna be all, a little bit longer before, well, we know it's gonna, not gonna be done in time for dinner tonight. And uh, you want spaghetti? So anyway, we're trying to figure out what to do for dinner now. We don't really have to eat for about two hours. I'm going in here because it's more quiet. Um, just trying to figure out what to do for dinner because I don't really want to make like a whole nother meal when I've got like all that meat, but it's not going to be done until like eight o'clock. I didn't really get it in the pan until like 1.30 or even like two o'clock when it was like fully heated. So, I mean, it needs like eight hours. So even if I turn it, if I turn it on high, I think I'm gonna make it dry out, which I don't want to do, and waste all that meat. So it's got, I mean, it's gonna take to like nine, ten o'clock tonight before it's really truly done, and we can still use the meat. It, luckily, it's gonna be usable for a really long time. So Jason and I have decided that maybe we'll go out tonight. We kind of had low morale today, uh, without really kind of diving into that a whole lot because it's hard to already feel the feels and then to have to regurgitate them is a little bit more work. So all of us are kind of feeling it in our own ways and that's why we haven't picked up the camera today. We'll just leave it at that. All of us are having a hard time. So to kind of give us a little boost, we're gonna play a game, kind of get into better spirits and then it's just hard you guys. It's all hard, every aspect of this whole thing. Oof. It's hard for every single age group. It's hard for Jason, it's hard for mom, it's hard for the kids. They all understand, but that doesn't mean that it's not hard. And everyone all over the world is, this is hard. And so, we have to have grace. We have to have some level of, we understand and Let's just do something a little bit extra to kind of get through that. And luckily we can, you know. We have it better than we did in the beginning of this. We have more security. My phone's going nuts. We have a little bit more security than we did in the beginning of this. I should tell you what this message is about. Um, I'll tell the kids and I'll tell you guys at the same time. It's kind of funny. We're in a little bit of a better place right now than we were in the beginning. And like we said the other day, um, we're opening our store, our shoe store, tomorrow. So we're hopeful as we kind of work our way through phase one of opening that with the, within our state that we'll kind of come out of this financially. So fingers crossed that that goes well. So let me tell you guys and my family in here. So my my phone is going crazy. Let me come tell everyone in here what it's going about. All right, kids, I have something to tell you. So Grandpa is painting his him and Grandma's bedroom today, and Eric and him, I think we're helping. Eric was helping because Grandma can't help, so he was socially distant from Grandma. I think Grandma probably stayed downstairs, but they were pulling out Grandma and Grandpa's bed, which probably has not been moved in. Forever. We're trying to calculate when they got that bed. I was probably 13 or 14. Anyway, they found a little envelope with a tooth in it and a letter on it saying I got my tooth pulled and here it is, Tooth Fairy. <laughs> so my whole family is on a text string trying to decipher the handwriting on whose tooth is in this little envelope. It's probably one of us kids because it was in Grandma's room and you guys have lost teeth at Grandma's house. But you have said pulled out, then it was... Well, then it was tooth pulled. got pulled. I don't know. There's a little bit of a lingo that's kind of questionable. But um, 
these girls have lost teeth at grandma's house when we've been there in the summertime well, before. Have... Not you guys, but the older kids. I lost one there. But they would not have put it in my mom's room. They would not have put it like under their bed or even gone in there to do that kind of thing. And so it's gotta be one of us kids. And so we're all like trying to figure out the handwriting and kind of well, making fun of people who- like grandma's handwriting, but like... No, it's kids' handwriting. So we're just trying to decide when the when the water bed was moved and when they got a real bed and anyway it's just been kind of funny to try and figure out whose last tooth this is and who gets the compounded interest on Tooth Fairy's money. <laughs> but so it's kind of been a funny correspondence with my family today. Abby is making a cake for our wonderful dinner that's not gonna be done till ten o'clock tonight. So that will be yummy no matter what we eat for dinner and we're gonna play a game. turn my friend no one was in motion I'm liking to see how many tiles Abby has on that board but I guarantee you she'll be under 10 points <laughs> so, um, when Abby um, doesn't when she gets low points and then when she wins she has no points. yeah like every single time no matter what right she, like, wins. but it's kind of looking time, like she oh well, maybe she can play the one time she got high points was like a uh, okay. She has a wild now that she has to play because she picked it up. We have weird rules, but she's gonna go out with. Yep. Ah! Oh, Seriously, <laughs> how in the world? Well, Abby now has beat us three more times. It's ridiculous. Jason and I keep getting like 25 points around. It's just getting ridiculous. <laughs> 50 points away from a thousand. Thank you, Abby, for letting me know. <laughs> Thank you, dear child. All right, so we're texting Kaylee and telling her we forgot to get the panda, even though we clearly, where is it? Is it down there at your feet? Yeah. yeah. We have it. All right, so Jason just texted Kaylee that um, we didn't get her panda. And see what she says, because she doesn't want to oh, ever come with us. she's typing. Oh, what is she going to no, say? No, she just said no. Like no, like, no, seriously, we like, forgot, forgot. I'm saying, I'll, got make, that's, that's I'll make you a tortilla. And there's no. there's uh, spring rolls in the that's freezer. Oh, she says, I don't like the them. <laughs> She's not really saying anything. Oh, I thought she'd have more reaction than that. All right, oh, we're ending our night not eating this cake. <laughs> We've all had too many sweets lately. So we're gonna enjoy this cake tomorrow. No. Go brush your teeth! All right, it is eight o'clock. Our meat is still not done. <laughs> Abby's done with the cake, but let's see here. It's doing really good, but it easily has like another hour or more. So, and I don't want to like risk it not being done. So we're going to end our night here. Nothing super fabulous today, but you know, just kind of have to keep plugging away. I guess in the future, it'll be interesting to kind of watch these back and uh, kind of see what our life was like during all this. So in some ways it's kind of like, are you sure you want me to film today? Like, is this gonna be at all interesting? But for me in the future, I think it will be um, kind of interesting to kind of look back at it. So that is it you guys, I'm just trying to clean up and we're gonna sign off. Guess nothing else is exciting happening and nothing else exciting is happening. I should say, Abby, if you want to cut this cake tonight, you can. Yeah, we're all pretty full from dinner. At 12? No, you're not going to eat it at 12. This is part of the problem is that everyone comes back down to eat at like 10, 11, 12 o'clock at night, especially the older two. But I'm going to make sure Chelsea gets some melatonin tonight. She ended up in our bedroom again last night on the little beanbag pillow thing at like midnight, so that's why she took a nap today. So I'm gonna try and get her some melatonin tonight right off the bat instead of at 10 or 11 o'clock at night <laughs> like she's been doing. So take care you guys and we'll talk to you later.